All right, it's been a while since I've done an update or video of any type. Um, and that's because there hasn't been too much exciting going on, normal shop work. Uh, I did go out to Colorado last weekend, uh, the weekend before Labor Day, and uh, that went pretty well, actually. So nothing fun there. I did pick up one of my dream trucks, but it, of course, got delivered. But uh, here we have a 64 uh, C30 based on a Suburban chassis. Mm -mm, good. This was purchased, uh, I guess, by our friend Sam DeRocher, and it was a food truck back then. It was built as a food truck. It was not built and then tore apart. Um, then he sold it, and the Livingston County, Livingston Center Historical Village is owned as a snack wagon. They just drove around their property and that type of thing. Um, and then he purchased it back a while ago. And uh, we're going to convert it into, or revamp uh, it into a food truck again. So, going to be, he's got all new rubber for it. That'll have to go on. Uh, we'll take these wheels off, sandblast, and paint. Um, the frame itself looks quite solid, but then there's parts of it here where we know we're going to have to uh, put in new cross members, that type of thing. I mean, this is a full C structural C channel and it's rusted clear through. So um, we were originally going to just do that, but then I said, well, it probably makes sense to remove the box from the frame in order to really uh, get to that frame, replace everything that needs to be replaced, and then we'll be able to sandblast that frame as well. So we've really got something good uh, to put it back onto. Uh, also, over here is probably the worst of the rust. Uh, this will have to be probably repaired, either cut in a new piece or just new piece all the way to the window. Not positive on that yet. On this side, we're going to put a door right here. Uh, and we're also raising the roof probably 10 inches. I've got to make some measurements, but it's most likely going to be 10 inches there. Then uh, the other side in the same slot, it will be, the, the, this side will be like an access door where if anything has to go in and out, it can but it's pretty much going to be covered most of the time. The other side will be the serving window, as you would expect, and that'll have a nice glass slider as well. So again, I'm going to be about 10 inches higher, and um, it. we also have the original rounded windows. They're right here. We'll shine those up, clean those up, sandblast, and probably powder coat the frames. So we're good to go there. And at some point, it may get an LS swap, but that's uh, a few years down the road. We're going to get it probably run some new brake lines, possibly springs and stuff at this point. It's going to be so much easier to do uh, with the body off. So uh, look into some pricing on that soon and uh, go from there. Wooden floor, it will be a wooden floor again, similar to a camper, but um, not a big issue. Inside is kind of cool. It's built with wood and then they took, it's quite short. Uh, I can turn the camera around here. I don't know if you'll be able to really see, but my head actually sticks up into the rafters. So we don't want that. They built it out of wood. Obviously this is all oak and uh, then these steel supports here. So might add a couple more braces, might replace where it is split and uh, splitting. That one's obviously gotten some water on it before. That one we'll probably replace but for the most part, the, the wooden roof is quite solid. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, sandblast the whole thing. Again, probably use the dustless blaster. More rust repair down there. Um, and uh, going to be a really cool project. Hoping to have it done uh, midwinter maybe, early winter. Just depends on when winter really gets here, I guess. So... Stay tuned for updates on this one, as well as the Aeroflight Falcon over there. One of, I think, 20 of those left as well. That's going to be the big one we hope to reveal next spring at the uh, 
uh, Milford Rally, most likely. So that's kind of our goals. Finishing up a couple Shastas in here. Hoping, we uh, hope to have at least one of them done uh, by now, but uh, looking like hopefully we can have them both done by the end of the month or for sure the first part of October. So stay tuned for updates there as well. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun stuff coming up and uh, a lot of stuff to be paying attention to, some really neat builds. Stay tuned.